This is Arne Holcomb with your News in 90. A new initiative from Alachua County could speed up Hurricane Irma cleanup for residents. The county is opening two residential storm debris sites this week where people can get rid of tree remains. Alachua County Waste Specialist Christina Reed says pickup crews are running behind and residents are getting antsy waiting for debris removal. Residents can bring their debris to two locations in Alachua County. There is one on Old Northwest Landfield on 173rd Street or the 20-acre Barrow Pit on Northeast 73rd Avenue in Fairbanks. Debris should be cut into five-foot sections and weigh no more than 40 pounds. You'll need a driver's license or utility bill to prove you're an Alachua County resident. Gunpowder, pressure, and gases are usually things that cause a gun to make noise, but today those things injured a man. Tyler Kovacs, a correction officer, and Chip Williams, an office instructor, were at a training exercise when the incident happened. Kovacs took a gun that shoots blanks and fired it closely to instructor Williams' back. Kovacs has been with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office for five months. The wound from the blank gun were serious enough to send Williams to the hospital. Two people are dead after a train hit and killed them in Central Florida. Winter Park Police said the pedestrians were struck by an Amtrak train near Winter Park and Cypress Avenue. Authorities say nobody on the train was hurt. Roads in the area had to be shut down and an investigation is ongoing. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.